Hello. Kate Atkinson's transcription. I just finished this one. Um, this is a lovely copy and it's got a map inside of Dolphin Square where lots of the action takes place. It's the story of Juliet Armstrong. And as with all Kate Atkinson's books, you've got different timelines. This one, you've got three. It starts in 1981 when Juliet Armstrong is 60. And then very quickly it goes to 1940 and then we flick to 1950s. In 1940s, J Juliet at 18 was drafted into MI5 to be, well, to transcribe um, videotaped conversations. She is, she's a brilliant character actually. She is naive, she's romantic, she's humorous. You get the feeling that she's sometimes watching herself because she's got all these wonderful comments, all these thoughts. She says herself in the book that maybe she, th she thinks too much. But it's a story that I really enjoyed. I wasn't sure about a book about spies and MI5 but there's a lot of humour to it. The idea is that Juliet is part of this little group and they're in a little apartment and the next door apartment has been bugged with one of their operatives who is meeting people who are supporters of the Nazi party. And the idea is that all the telephone all the conversations are transcribed so there's lots and lots of transcriptions that she's sitting there typing away as it says in the um, in book you know was she to be an agent then it's no it seemed she was to remain shackled to a typewriter so her foray into the world of spies is sitting there typing but that isn't all that she does and I'm not going to tell you what else she gets up to it's a complex story and the ending is surprising. And because it's all to do with spies, you get the idea of all the ideas of the class of spies. You know, it's the upper class people that were the spies. Or was it Juliet herself is ordinary? She comes across lots of other people that are just ordinary people. And if you read the afterword by Kate Atkinson, that was the basis for the story. She came across a story about a bank clerk who was a major cog in rounding up Nazi supporters. And she used that as the basis for Juliet. It's a story about spies and their ordinariness, um, the patriotism, courage, the honour, but it's also a story about pettiness, ambition and greed. There are wonderful characters in here. Juliet is, as I said to you before, she's, she's a super character. She's so naive. She's got these romantic feelings for her handler, to put another word, the guy who's in charge of the operation. She's got all these romantic notions about him and you've got all these asides when she's talking to him all the thoughts that are going in her head as to yeah is he going to is this is this is he going to kiss me now or not and it is just a really really good book the ending I wasn't expecting the ending not at all but if you read it you will fall in love with Juliet and her humour and her her spirit and yeah pick it up. Kate Atkinson, I've read several of Kate Atkinson's books and I'm never disappointed, never ever. So that is Transcription by Kate Atkinson, brilliant read and the flamingo on the front, you have to read the book to find out the significance. Right, so see you later. 
and happy reading. Bye.